But what I can comment is that if we can do that, and then the country remains peaceful, if they can agree political parties to come together, and then uh, share positions in the system, even Uda, if they can say they want to join us, uh, so long as Kenya remains peaceful, what we are yearning for is peaceful and a responsible leader, leader who is responsive to people of Kenya, and leader who is not corrupt. That is where our contentious issue is. We don't mind who is having what in the government. These are all Kenyans. Even if that, all 30% that went to people from Embu, where we are now, or in Kirinyaga, where we are now, that is not a big deal. The most important and what Kenyans want is peace. After elections, there must be peace. And we don't want revengeful leaders. A leader who says, when I get it, I told you will see me. You will see me, you will just wait me. I, I didn't come from people as well. And if I say you want revenge on me, and I come up with my people, how Kenya will look like? We want leaders who are true Christians, leaders who are really forgiving, and leaders who will unite this country. Because when there are problems in this country, and I've said time and again, the people who normally suffer are women, children, and workers. And we don't want our workers, like what happened in Sudan, uh, when they overthrew uh, President Bashir. A lot of workers suffered. A lot of people came up with revengeful missions. They detained people arbitrarily. That is not the country we want. We moved from there. We are in a democratic society where the constitution guarantees each and everyone's property and his or her life to be protected by the government. But if you have leaders like those ones I see in Uda, they are, their mission is that they must revenge. And I don't know how you people you are seeing it here in M. When you are coming from Nairobi, you see how President Uhuru's government is trying to put up an ultra-modern road up to Nyeri. And then you still see people saying, yeah, you want to revenge, we are revenging, we, are, uh, we want to punish you. You punish somebody who is going home. You must know who is going to be your next president. How is he going to lead? How will you be protected? How will your property be protected? And what type of uh, economic plans or any other uh, uh, beautiful economic uh, uh, platform that he will put in place so that uh, he can be in a position to grow economy? And if economy is grown, people will be able to get employment. And uh, our young men who are coming out of our institutions of high learning,